Next, we have uh, Mark McLaughlin from The Times. Mark. Hello there. Um, it's been suggested by some of your supporters, uh, including in the national newspaper, that you would have locked down a bit earlier if you had the, the, the financial levers to do so, that you were basically prevented from locking down earlier because you didn't have the furlough scheme in place. Uh, can you confirm that that's the case? And given that Nicola Sturgeon is now warning that she would have no hesitation in locking Scotland down again if the transmission starts to, to rise again, do you have an assurance from the Chancellor that he will financially back that or, or do you now have some extra levers that you didn't have at the start of the outbreak? Thanks, thanks very much, Mark, for that question. I, I repeat what, what we have said about the decisions that we made at the time using the evidence and the advice that was there, the information that was there for us. Uh, our intent all, the, all along at every stage, and it remains so, is to make the best decisions we can based on the information that we have available to us at the time. In terms of uh, whether or not uh, we would uh, lock down again, uh, we are the pace with which we would ease restrictions uh, and what might influence uh, those decisions. It will be what influenced our decisions uh, at every step of the way. And that is what we understand about the incidence of cases, how the virus is being suppressed, the R number, its impacts on particular uh, groups of people and the emerging science and evidence that comes forward as it has done since the outset of this new virus that tells us more uh, as scientists and clinicians understand more about it. Uh, I don't believe that we have had any assurance from the Chancellor that he is prepared to modify uh, his uh, support uh, for uh, what happens uh, between any of the four nations uh, of the United Kingdom, uh, but we would continue to press that uh, as part of the United Kingdom knowing that there, is been, there has been agreement that we may move a different, a different pace in terms of how we ease lockdown restrictions or indeed whether or not we reimpose them, then I would hope that that uh, support for that approach is backed by making sure that there are no obstacles to it in terms of people being able to follow strong public health advice and guidance from us. Uh, and we will continue, I'm sure, to have those uh, discussions with the UK, with the Chancellor. My colleague, Ms Forbes, uh, has those on a regular basis, and we will continue uh, to have those discussions with the Treasury and with her uh, colleagues across the four nations of the United Kingdom.